<clears throat> I said, Bill Hensel, your walking constitution from San Francisco, California, and some really important news going on here. Uh, my friend Adam Brucky has gotten a, an emergency petition filed at the U.S. Supreme Court. It's on for conference January the 6th, when you know the same time as the 2020 election fraud case, and it's unopposed. And that means not only is he going to win, we know it because of the eerie events that were involved in getting this petition filed to start with. And both of us talked to the man in charge at the U.S. Supreme Court about these emergency petitions. And we may have made some real progress for all of us in the bargain. <clears throat> it's astounding. Adam talked to him for half an hour. I had about 25 minutes. I didn't think to record mine, unfortunately. But <clears throat> nice guy. An attorney, for crying out loud, law school graduate, and he sincerely wanted to help. When's the last time you've seen anything like that? So that said, I was surprised uh, with several things. He didn't even know what in proprietor persona sui juris meant. And that's in our own proper person as a matter of right, not pro se. Not acting as our own attorney. You don't own us or don't. Oh, our citizenship to the 14th Amendment. Uh, and what I hope happened with the two of us particularly is we now have a backdoor window <clears throat> to the justices because it's bad enough this poor guy didn't get taught anything in law school, but the justices haven't instru instructed him properly to recognize us when we get there. And I think there's going to be some changes in that area that's going to help all of us with these petitions, which are now going to become a matter of routine business for my friend Adam and I to get him in there. That's apparently the only way we have to reach the only judicial court there is. And he's going to win in what looks like an unrelated context to your case, but it's not. Everything is the same, different factual foundations, same legal issues. And I'm likely to be there right behind him <clears throat> for the same reason uh, with my case out here, my default judgment. I'll talk more about that in another video. But again, different context, same issues. We're going to be able to do some amazing things, sir. Not as quickly as we'd like right now, but the court's going to go out of its way to find ways to rule in our favor. But for the moment, not waking up to the American people what they're really doing. And that's unfortunate, but I understand the logistics with the next quote-unquote election <clears throat> two years in the future. And if the Republicans win that one and Thomas and Alito can retire, now we're going to get younger conservatives in there and the pace is going to pick up. And it should. And to John Roberts at all, why don't you tell the American people what you're doing here? You want your approval rating to go up? It's going to skyrocket. Return to the original intent of the framers of the Constitution and the abandonment of what Thomas Jefferson once referred to as an elective despotism. <clears throat> so that's the news, and that comes down. And how is the mindless mainstream media going to ignore this one and or mine if I get there <clears throat> and do the same thing? Joe so pack off the street goes up there and beats the hell out of corporate attorneys? That's news, 6 o'clock news, coast to coast. And that's exactly what we need. So it's an exciting time. And by the way, one thing they could do at that conference on January the 6th is flip it over to the regular calendar, which I don't think is going to happen. If it does, Adam has already asked me, and I've agreed to go with him to Washington, D.C., to give oral argument to the Supreme Court of the United States. It's about damn time. All the BS, they wasted three hours on that North Carolina election gerrymandering BS. <clears throat> and all I had to do was simply rule that there are no elections, so that simply shouldn't be a problem. Much easier, John Roberts, at all. But this affects all of you because the amount of leverage we're going to have, and it's already daunting. In your case, to get information like this to the perps in your case to take care of business and either drop charges or get you out of jail, do what they have to do to cut their losses because they're going to be paying for it. 
Fort hasn't got that far yet, but they're headed that direction, and I think they're going to stay on course if that next election goes well, and they'll be there through the 2030s. So that's really exciting news. And by the way, you can find out more. Or send me an email, youwinningcourt at gmail.com, for more information on this situation and to ask about my constitutional defense document packets that we used to at least set an unopposed record in the trial court. But they're not, in fact, nowadays we might not even be able to get things filed, although I've just created a friend of the court, amicus curiae brief, that I think they'll have to file that sets the unopposed record for multiple acts of treason these bastards have committed. And it doesn't matter, for example, whether it's criminal, you know, the DMV, IRS, Child Procurement Syndicate, you name the alphabet agency. They've already ruled against them, and they're going to be doing a lot more of that this term and with upcoming terms. I think the beat's going to go on here, what I call an all-out assault on the administrative state. And thank, thank goodness for that, and good riddance to those traitors and perps that commit all these crimes against us. They're acts of treason here, according to the U.S. Supreme Court. And the guy I talked to never even had heard of Cohen's v. Virginia, the best decision they ever made, and they've referred to it recently a couple of times. Never heard of it. Don't teach this stuff in law school. They don't want him to know. They don't want you to know. But you can learn. Send me an email, youwinningcourt at gmail.com. Lots of great information. And who knows what's going to happen before this term of the Supreme Court is over. You know, it just remains to be seen. That said, subscribe, like the videos, tell your friends, get the word out. As soon as we get these perps to quit doing all of the divide and conquer BS they've been doing for at least 150 years, the quicker we get the bastards off our backs. Thank you.